What's up guys, how's it going? We have another unboxing showcase review and of course we did get the new Marvel Legends Gore. This was an Amazon exclusive. I'm very, very excited that I actually was able to pre-order it. Um, it wasn't too difficult, but there was some difficulty in trying to actually find the listing, but we have it. Finally came in. I know this had like a release date of next year of some sort, but it came in and now we have it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. We are going to open this guy, check him out. This is my first time actually going to have my hands on this figure because I haven't really seen many reviews on it, um, but I'm still just excited to have this villain in on my shelf with the rest of my cosmic characters that I got going on. So this box is technically part of some Thor a wave of some kind I, I i'm not exactly too sure but it's just labeled thor god of thunder which is funny how they have that on their windowless packaging of course there's the thor symbol of the hammer and we've got some artwork right over here which looks really nice some digital rendering which we all know there are some discrepancies about the digital rendering here because of the no pins so i fully expect us to see a pinned gore uh when we open this one up uh, i did cut the tape so let's take a look and see what we have inside the box and as you guys know i normally will show you everything that's inside so you kind of have an idea of what to expect so of course the first thing that fell out was all the that simple paperwork so this looks a little different from the other uh, cardboard packaging that we normally get with Marvel Legends. Normally it's exposed right here. So let's see what we have going. I can't pull this guy out. It's weird. There we go. And ta-da, here we go. So this fell out from one of the sides. And it looks like there's another piece that fell out. And it looks, yep, there we go. All right, so there's the cardboard. Here's the, uh, the box. Let's see what we got. And wow, looks a lot taller than I thought. But we'll, we'll take a look. I'll unpackage everything and go from there. All right, guys, there we have it. Not a lot to go through just because you can see, especially from the back of the box, there's really only two accessories to go along with this. Uh, we have here an extra head sculpt, which is unbelievable. Look at the detail, the paint work that they did, the sculpt work that they did here. Awesome. Really, really nice. I don't know if this tendril turns in a way because you can see that it's it's cut meaning like that's where they must have glued it back on you cannot turn it so unfortunately it stays where it is uh, but you can see there's some great paint work that's been done here there's some pink that's applied to the end of these tendrils i guess you can say for his head i don't exactly know his uh race i can't remember off the top of my head but you can see the pupils in those eyes that are painted. So it's very, very nicely painted here from the, I guess the, the digital printing that's been done. So look at that, that looks awesome. The other accessory that we have is the Necro Sword. Um, this one is a little bent. Gonna have to possibly heat that up to straighten it out a bit, but you can see here, um, it's all in black uh based upon i guess you know what it's probably this the skin tone color and then they painted it in black as as you can see there's the hand like so and the peg for the wrist so there's really not much of any articulation here i think it's just going to be pegged in and there you go there's your your weapon accessory so still looks pretty good i like how it looks i like this um I guess that's a better for, way for it to be applied. So we'll see how it goes when we use it. So here we have Gore. Oh my God. This 
is definitely a taller figure. I was actually, well, we'll, we'll see when, when during comparisons, but in regards to the sculpt and the paint, this looks really good. It, it may seem simple. I mean, it should, because it's just basically this, um, the whatever color skin tone body, this gray color skin tone body, and then everything else is just, there's some paint applied to it, which you can see all the blacks and a little bit of the pinks going on. There's not much else you can really say because it just looks like a base body. Um, all in all, I think everything else looks really, really good. I mean, look at this face sculpt here for, for the head. It's amazing. That looks really good. I mean, look in comparison. So I really like that a lot. Uh, this hood, I believe, is attached to the head. So as you can see here, when you do turn it, it does hold on to there so yep there you go there you can see it you can see where his the tendrils they kind of just cut that off for the hood right there and of course this completely comes off which is a nice accessory if you think for the cape it's nicely sculpted too so that's really cool and just to go over articulation fairly simple we can turn the head because the hood moves with it so that's nice to see there is very little when it comes to some tilt because of the hood. So you can't really do anything much with that. You cannot have his head look up at all. This is, it is pliable, but it's still thicker at the bottom. So you can't really move it as much. You can make it look down slightly. You're going to have to really, really apply. There you go. That's how it's going to look. Now, it's going to be different, so let's just see. When we have the other head sculpt, you might have some more maneuverability. There we are. Still with the cape on, of course. Um, you have the one tendril in the back, one tendril in the front. So having him look up does is much better looking down practically the same uh, we do it is like a dumbbell joint so that's the hard part about it there is much much more tilt that you can provide onto the head and you can still swivel left and right so uh now that we have that done I, i'll leave this down for the time being uh we do have we've seen this body before um we can move his arms practically to a 90 upper bicep double jointed elbow it is pinned of course uh, we do have the ab crunch that can move back that far and of course move forward that far and he's got a waist swivel i don't like waist swivels because it just cuts off the sculpt it's it's old i i think uh the waist the ball waist is much much better we do have an upper thigh cut and of course double jointed knees which is pinned he's got a calf swivel which is good to have and then of course with his feet can move back way far and then move up just as well and of course it does pivot so nice to see that going on right there so with this accessory we're just going to take a look um because it's only for the right hand so we will take this off and insert like so and that definitely looks really cool for the accessory. Really nice. It's got the tendrils sticking out like so right above the wrist or below the wrist, I should say. But still, nice to see that we do have a weapon accessory. I wish it did come with more hands such as a fist. That would have been nice. This is a nice open palmed hand, but I feel like fist would be nice. This fit hand it makes no sense because it's practically a, a trigger finger hand why I, I don't know that's there's no use for that so this would have been better if it was a fist but that's what we get that is what we get so there you have it that is with the accessory so for comparison i have here the thor ragnarok version um that's pr practically the same as any other thor uh unfortunately i just brought this one out um he they are the same height so it is one of the larger figures in Marvel Legends. So you can see that right there in regards to Thor. And another Marvel Legend here is our uh, uh, Thor 
uh, Herald of Galactus Thor. That's what I meant to say. That's our Herald of Galactus Thor. This is our newer version. Same height. Um, maybe Thor is slightly higher, just slightly. But you can see in regards to the build, the, um, the height is practically the same. And just to compare with a Mythic Legions, we have a Legion Builder Orc. And I brought out a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. Hell, why not just put in Sergeant Slaughter here from Action Force. And for a much larger scale, I did bring out Null. Definitely taller because Null is more of a deluxe figure, but you can see the height right there. All right, guys, there you have it. There is my review of Gore. Uh, this is the Amazon exclusive Marvel Legends. So I hope you guys are able to get your hands on this figure. I think it is a great representation so far for what they've done for this character in Marvel Legends. So having this guy on your shelf would definitely be awesome for your cosmic characters. Definitely a great addition to my shelf. I would love it. I still enjoy the fact that we do have this character in Marvel Legends form. Yes, there are some gripes with it, especially the legs. I wish they could have done the legs the proper way. Uh, everything else I have no problem with. Yes, it is an older body. Yes, we do have a pinned uh, elbows and knees. Not an issue for me because everything's still the same color. So there's really no difference in like any of the colors that could possibly be the issue when it regards to pins. But it still looks awesome. These head sculpts are amazing absolutely amazing that is basically the hugest draw for this figure are the head sculpts these head sculpts they've done so well so that is my review let me know what you guys think please make sure to hit that like comment subscribe would greatly greatly appreciate it on our way to 4,000 subscribers so thank you guys so much for watching i greatly greatly appreciate it hope to see you soon hope to see you on the next hunt